All right, today we're going to be showing you how to uh, completely reset your Synology uh, Diaz 415 Play. Um, but to be honest, this can be the same practice for really any um, Synology NAS. So that doing these same steps is going to reset any of your Synologies, no matter if it's a Diaz 14, a Diaz 815, you know, it doesn't really matter. Um, so the first thing you want to do is open up your control panel, go to Update and Restore. And then you're going to find the tab that says reset. Once you click reset, you're going to see erase all data. Now, be careful when you do this. Make sure you have backups or you you know you want to wipe all the data that's on this because this will be unrecoverable. So once you click this, you won't be able to recover any of your data, no matter if you're a forensic expert or you know whatever. You can't get that data back because they write uh, ones and zeros to all the data on the drive, so it completely rewrites over that existing data. And you do have the option to keep the current admin password, but in this instance, we're going to be selling it. So we're just going to erase all data and it's going to say, you yeah, know, you understand it's going to be deleted forever and it gives you a little countdown. Click erase all data and then you're going to type in your password that you have for this analogy to make sure it is who it is. So um, this is going to take a little bit. So we're going to go ahead and pause the video, and then once it comes back up, we're going to show you. It's going to basically be like how you first had it. It's going to walk you through the setup process um, of setting up your new Synology. All right. So um, we are now back. We heard our Synology um, reboot, and we heard the beeping noise. So now, it's, now we know that it's been rebooted. And I love this using this tool you can download from Synology's website. It's called the Synology Assistant. It's very um, easy to use. Uh, you download it and you, hit, you literally just hit search and it searches for any Synology on your network no matter if it's on a different VLAN or a different subnet of IP addresses. It'll find that Synology. Um, and sometimes you don't know what IP address the Synology gets if it's DHCP. So you can see that we found it. You can see status is not installed. So we're going to double click on that and it's going to take us right to our uh, Synology that we just wiped. And then you can go through the setup process and install now and it'll install the uh, disk station manager on the four drives. And then we're going to hit um, install now and it's just confirming that it's going to be uh, formatting all those four drives that are in our Synology. We hit OK and it's going to be installing that uh, disk station software on our um, hard drives. And then we'll be able to set up a, um, a, a RAID on those drives and then start creating shared folders and installing apps like a, a surveillance app or um, your own, um, uh, I call it like Dropbox, but your own uh, Dropbox that, that you can share yourself. Um, but yeah, we're going to pause it because it will take a couple minutes. All right. Once it's done installing, then it's going to restart one more last time and then uh, it'll come back up and we'll be right back. All right, so once um, it does that reboot, you can go ahead and hit search because sometimes the IP address might change again, um, but in this instance it did not. So then now you're going to get this page to create the administrator account. And we're just going to name it new NAS, type admin. Oh, need to do a stronger name here. Um, All right, once that is done, it's going to prepare the uh, storage space. Um, and that's usually mean it's just uh, finding the drives and uh, the next page we should be able to um, create the array here. So we're going to wait for that to load. Um, DSMN updates, you want to just do install important updates um, automatically. And then you want those both checked too because you want to make sure the smart test runs your drives and if there's bad sectors to notify you. And you definitely want that enabled. Hit next. You can uh, skip this step to this later, but this is good to have if you have a Synology uh, account. You're going to want to skip this because you don't want to install all those apps. Um, and then hit go. I usually don't check this um, just because I don't like my information being shared. No thanks. And from here, you are pretty much all set. You just need to go into um, the start here. Go to storage manager. Go into our volumes. And you can see it's already created a volume. 
Um, and then once that's done, it'll be a lot faster. And this is a uh, hyper raid, so it does it, one drive can fail, and then you can replace it with another drive. So that's definitely what you want. Um, so you can close out of there. Don't show. Close. Close. Um, file station is where you can create some uh, shared um, folders. Uh, package center is where you can install like the Synology um, app. Um, no, I'm sorry, not the Synology app, the surveillance um, app. So you can, um, you know, have IP cameras at your house or wherever you're at, your business, and you can have them all recorded to this um, NAS. You can do, I mean, just you go through all the apps. I mean, there's just so many apps now that you can install and, and run your own media server, Plex server, I mean, all kinds of stuff. Your email server, you can install antivirus stuff. And um, yeah, you're all set. That's fully resetting your NAS to default settings. And uh, now the next person that gets this NAS will be all set.